All right, y'all. All right, all right. Let's get into it. It's Jazz, Min, Nicole, and welcome to Wait With Jazz, a safe space for the obese, the overweight, those who just want to lose weight, and myself to share our weight journeys and a little bit of my life too. I used to be 284 pounds 12 years ago. I lost 115 pounds naturally through intermittent fasting and running. That put me at about 175 pounds. I was still in the obesity category and I felt myself gaining weight. So I decided to pursue GOP-1 medication, brand name Zetbound. and currently terzepatide compound for which I'm on. I'm on the 7.5 terzepatide compound as a maintenance dose. I split the dose, so I inject. I inject 3.7, well, 3.75 milligrams of the terzepatide compound in units. It is, 18.75 and that's what I administer weekly once a week so this is a week three update for maintenance I have reached my goal of 130 pounds previous weigh-ins it seems like I have been able to maintain the 130 without any setbacks um, What's the tea this week? I um did a way a weigh in and my current weight as of now is 128.8. That's a little bit of a disappointment. Previous weigh ins. Like I said, 130, your girl has lost 1.2 pounds. That's a downside. That's a downside because this was supposed to be maintenance, meaning I'm supposed to remain the same. But I do want to take into consideration that body fluctuates and that it may not be done with its weight balance for a number of days. Um, I don't weigh myself every day, so I don't want to be, you know, that on it. I feel more comfortable weighing myself once a week. Giving myself, you know, adequate time to really process everything, digest it, Extracted everything the body just to properly regulate itself and then give me that way in that one time and then the next week I have it to compare to uh, but I, I know that the next way in it really could just go back to 130 my body could finish leveling itself out or I can try to uh, increase my calories a little bit more maybe by you know 50 calories or so i stayed at my regular maintenance calories at least i think i stayed right at the maintenance calories but i did have heavy heavier exercise i did have heavier exercise this week y'all i'm falling in love with fitness and because of that, I think that has a lot to do with this weight loss too. So my activity level increased, so I should um, have increased my calories. That's the problem. Now that I know it, moving forward, I need to get the calories in. Sometimes it's just easier said than done. Y'all, for me, for my lifestyle, for what's comfortable for me, sometimes I just, 
I, I, I can get close to it, but sometimes I, I still hit, miss the mark on the calorie. I um, also miss the mark sometimes when it comes to protein. I don't double protein. So to a lot of you, I, you, I will be permanently missing the mark. I, I don't double protein and I never will because I am uh, protein resistant. <laughs> I cannot digest high volumes of protein. It's a thing <laughs> um, that causes more bloat. It causes acid reflux cause a, a whole host of issues like I I know that I can't do that I have to I have to take the adequate amount of protein that's recommended <laughs> like um, but I know you know people have their perceptions but you know I'm gonna go for what's working for me and I'm still gonna do body recon still the same way because you know I'm not trying to become a body builder I'm just trying to tighten and build existing muscle from the existing fat. So I'm gonna try to tighten the fat, build muscle, therefore creating a smoother, more toner appearance. And that can be done on an appropriate amount of protein. Um, and not a bulking amount of protein, but if you're trying to do bulking recompos uh, body recomposition, then you probably will want to do 120 grams of protein, which is very difficult to achieve, and it does cause discomfort, and it will require you to have to eat many times a day, keep up with what you eat, and calculate all the macros, because you're not going to be able to consume 120 grams of protein in one sitting. So doing an intermittent fast, a one meal a day type of lifestyle is definitely not gonna work out. So that won't work for me because I'm a one meal a day -er. and I'm not I'm not gonna consume that amount of protein in one meal. That's not realistic. Over the course of, of a meal and a snack I can consume sixty or seventy grams of protein and 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 be and still you know hit my calorie count and be fine. That, this is my slim body recomp. I'm in a slim lane. I'm okay being slim. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to have major gains. I just want small gains. Small gains using my existing, what's going on on my body. You know what I mean? And if I develop a little bit more, that's fine. But I'm not trying to like be all out there. Like the growing trend right now is growing muscle mass and some of these folks or well, some of these women um are doing a little bit more than just fitness training okay naturally all right it's a lot of it's a lot of roid life going on out here roid behavior people on roids anavar all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying people are on small doses of these testosterone type hormones and they're getting gains and their voice is getting deeper. My voice is already raspier, okay? I'm not going, I'm not taking anything that's going to make that go deeper or make me uh, grow an extra large area downstairs, extended area. Um, it's going to, no, 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 you know? So it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of that going on. It's that that trend is being heavy right now, being pushed. I'm into really natural body recompos uh, recomposition. Natural. Use your body. For me, I don't want to develop all of that because I want to have a feminine physique. I want to remain a feminine type of um, aesthetic. Even being fit. I don't want to be fit and masculine looking. I want to be fit, feminine, soft and friendly <laughs> i know y'all remember those words yeah y'all know those words so that's my that because i'm really into this weight training i love just doing the basic workout just have to be anything super vigorous where i'm sweating that has a lot to do with me lo losing up 1.2 pounds so I got to revamp 
real quick in meeting correct the wrong. So what's wrong is I did not consume enough calories to match my activity level. My activity level was up there and it's gonna to continue to be up there um, because I have a little addiction, not a negative addiction, just, you know, I'm playfully saying that word. Um, I have a strong desire for fitness, for physical activity. I like to do it at least five or six times a week. And I like to do it in the morning because it just is a refresher for me and then it just starts my day off. And sometimes if I have not had any physical activity, I'm a little moody. So I'm learning like this is a permanent incorporation in my life. Like it's something I really enjoy. I really hope you embrace fitness the same way and not look at it as a grueling task, a chore, because that makes it unsustainable. That makes losing weight and maintaining weight unsustainable because you don't enjoy the process. You haven't made it a permanent lifestyle where it's not a burden. It's just regularly, regularly a part of you. Um, it has become regularly a part of you now. I really, really enjoy it. Um, so that's that, Owen. The weight increase on my maintenance goes. Um, were there any changes with my eating pattern? No, no changes. No, no. I've been eating relatively the same way. The maintenance dose is the right dose for me. What is your right dose? What is your sweet spot dose? Because I realized that my sweet spot, spot dose is 3.75 milligram. That's my sweet spot in maintenance. So I don't have the side effects. I'm able to eat and enjoy the food and not feel like I can't stomach it. Or, uh, you know, I only can eat three or four bites of something. I, I'm super cautious because I don't want something not to be fully digested and come back and bite me in the butt in the middle of the night. Or, you know, all those things that I was going through when I was just on a straight dose of 7.5. 7.5 was working me out. Um, but splitting it is just enough. And it's probably because of my body mass. I think weight has a lot to do with the absorption of this medication. So the smaller you get, I think, you, yeah, it's like you need to be on a smaller dose. You do. Because your body has less mass on it to absorb. It's going to, I mean, meaning it's going to absorb this medication even more. It's going, and it's going to reap the side effects. So that's why I was reaping the side effects like that because I was at a lower weight. So that's my logic on that. See, it's good, y'all. This is um, chamomile tea, organic chamomile and lavender, okay? And lavender, y'all. Calming. I, I always need new soft moments with my life. I'm so glad I have an outlet of YouTube, okay? I have the outlet, I can come, I can chit chat with y'all, um, do my up my weekly weight updates, this, that, the third, plus more, because you know I talk all things weight. It really will cross my mind, y'all. So welcome to my channel, and welcome to my life. <laughs> so I wanted to bring this up for those uh, who are on brand medication who are new um, who need to understand the difference between a pen brand medication and 
a compound medication. I think, you know, it's appropriate, right? So I initially started on Zetbound. This is 2.5. <clears throat> and I thought it was much easier as far as administering than a compound. I was being really relieved to have this medication. I knew nothing about a compound. I just knew about this medication that goes into your body through an injectable pen and it suppresses your appetite and you can lose a large amount of weight from it. That's all I knew. And I know what I've been going through all my life. So I decided to do my best to go through the process to get this medication through my primary provider. My primary provider approved my medication, you know, and sent off for the script. But I just, I ran into hurdles from there. I ran into hurdles from there. So from the approval process, I ran into hurdles. So I no longer, you know, move forward to paying the uh, savings card price for it. I uh, decided to do compound. So this is the compound, it comes in a box typically. Well, mine comes in a box. My provider is Amble. And I started at five milligram. This is an old vowel, you know, so this is not a vowel that I actually, you know, extract from. For those who think, oh, it's unsanitary, you can't, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes. <clears throat> because currently I'm on 7.5, so mine comes as a, <clears throat> what is it? The milliliter is different than the five milligram. And it's extracted through a syringe. So the difference between these two is major. One is just simply done just through the click of a button. This has steps to it, okay? This is just, I mean, after a while you get used to it and then you can swiftly get it done, but it, it takes more time to Pay attention to detail with this. So when this came about, I was nervous. I'm like, okay, a syringe? I have never injected myself with something in my life. Don't even like getting my blood drawn because they always got a problem finding my vein. I'm always pricked like to the max because somebody can't find my vein. So I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to do this. The time pound's not gonna work. I'm gonna take this medication. I'm just gonna have to pay out of pocket for Zetbound. Um, but I decided to go through Amble and get the compound because it just seemed more economical to me. And then as I learned about what you can do with the compound versus what you can do with the pen, I'm like, okay this may be more appropriate for my GOP-1 lifestyle. And I'm saying lifestyles because this is a, a permanent medication that I intend to be on as long as it's available. So that's my, that's my spill. That's my spill on my backstory with these medications. Um, moving forward, I'm still going to consider taking the pen if necessary. Um, I just have to, you know, pay a little bit more money out of my pocket for it. And I'm not saying just like that's just something, okay? I got deals like everybody else, living check to check. Okay, creditors, all that. So, um, but, I'm able to cut corners and make things work so that I can still sustain what I need to maintain my overall health, in addition to my healthy habits and my aesthetic, I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to do it. 
Um, I'm going to make it happen. But I'm going to prefer the vinyl. But Zep Bound has come out with the vinyl. We have not seen that. That is just what was declared. We have not actually seen the distribution of the vials in the United States yet. So if that happens and the price is appropriate for me, I, I, I would consider taking the vial. The vial will be a vial like this. Of course, with its own brand, but it will be similar to this, y'all. So that is my third week update on my maintenance, those stuff turns up a tight compound and just a regular lifestyle of healthy habits. I'm gonna get at y'all the next video. Be real.